difficult to connect virtually like this. You know, there, yes, you can still connect, but it's not the same as that in-person connection. Maddie Begley has been in recovery for almost four years and is the recovery coordinator at The Porch, a community center through addiction treatment services in Traverse City. She says COVID-19 stress and isolation has impacted people struggling with addiction and those in recovery. Um, I am seeing a lot more people reach out for peer recovery coaches. Matt Zerilli is also in recovery and is the recovery center manager at the porch. He says the effects of the stress are seen in Michigan's uh -huh. overdose numbers. Yes. We've seen overdose rates um, higher over 20% over, over last year, overdose deaths. Um, we've seen EMS responses due to overdose, um, 40, 40, mid-40s, 45% above last year. Despite the challenges from COVID-19, Zerilli and Begley are staying connected to others seeking recovery through virtual support meetings and outdoor holiday caroling at recovery houses. The Porch is also using its Facebook page to host <laughs> events and meetings so, virtually. Uh, we're uh, having some dancing classes, uh, we're doing a, a, a talent show, you know, kind of things like that that are available uh, for people in their homes. Even though there may be more physical separation these days, Zerilli and Begley have a message for anyone struggling with addiction or their recovery. Uh, we're peers, we've been through it, uh, and we can just be that, you know, that ear that can listen to you and uh, kind of help share what worked for us and help you find what'll work for you. All you have to do is one day at a time, just stay sober today, reach out for help. There are people who are actively looking to help. Rachel Schuett, VNN, Michigan.